What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. So as you can tell, we're in the car and that's because I brought you guys on a little road trip because we had a really good opportunity to get some free compost. So I figured why not make an episode out of it? Why not bring you guys along and kind of show you what we're doing? Um, gleaning is something that we do quite frequently because it's a great way to get resources for free. Uh, we actually had a, a really good opportunity arise from a, um, there was a home builder in the area and they were clear cutting a bunch of land and about a year and a half ago, they came through and clear cut the land for a cul-de-sac. And um, when they clear cut the land, they took all of the trees and mulched them up very, very fine, ground them up, and then just basically piled them up. And it was about uh, three or four months ago that we, yeah, it was, it was about, I think it was around Christmas time. We came over to my family's house. It was just uh, just uh, about a quarter, half mile walk away from my family's house. We went out to just walk the land. And I, we walked up on top of this, this hill that I'll show you guys, and it was warm. It was actually really warm. It was steaming. I dug down, and there were some of those beautiful, rich uh, wood, you know, uh, kind of wood pulp compost that you could possibly ask for. So I was super excited about it. So I, uh, I contacted the, um, the, uh, the cul-de-sac developer, and I said, hey, you know, I know you have those big piles of compost. Do you mind if I, uh, do you mind if I come grab some? And he said, sure. Absolutely, I don't mind. Take as take as much as you want. So, uh, rent to the trailer, and we're gonna go load some up. All right, let's go. There. We go. That's better, right? All right. I think I'm gonna just call that good. Better than getting stuck. Right, no, I know, I agree. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to go. So as you can see, the problem is, is all this stuff down here is wet. And so you've got wetlands basically here and it made this perfect little environment where this side wall has really sloughed off and uh, it's, gave, it's given us really a good texture here where this is, it's, it's absolutely stunning because it's so wet, because it's absorbing all that moisture. It's actually easier to dig. It's broken down even a little bit more than the stuff up here. Jeeva, you having a fun time? <laughs> so I don't want, I definitely don't want this stuff on the top because it's not broken down yet. Okay. So I'll probably, No, 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 it's fine. This is this is really beautiful stuff. If you start digging in, it's actually, I mean, this is really, really good stuff on the side. And I'm sure, obviously, I'll, I'll get some stuff that's not broken down yet, but it'll break down over time. So I really quickly want to talk about some of the benefits that wood chip compost has. So wood chip compost provides really good porosity to your soil. One of the things about compost is that it's not all created equal. If you take something like leaf mold, compare that to something like wood chip compost, the two are actually far, they're far different. Um, and that's because uh, leaves have, uh, they have a lot of surface area, but they don't have a whole lot of um, actual organic matter. So if you, if you were to take, say, uh, I don't know, three foot by three foot by three foot cube of leaves and a three foot by three foot by three foot cube of, of um, wood chips, you're going to end up with far more material. And that's because the structure of wood, actually once it breaks down, there's far more cell structure in wood than leaves. And so um, it gives the soil a lot of porosity, the ability to hold on to water. That makes it really good for um, microbes, bacteria, and fungi to thrive and colonize your soil, which is so key. We talk about that all the time in organic soil. But another thing that it does really well is it actually holds on to nutrients. When you're looking at something like a leaf compost, leaf compost has been found to leach about 30% faster. Leaching is the process of nutrients leaving the soil when water is poured on it. When water percolates through soil, it carries through uh, nutrients that uh, like nitrogen, 
phosphorus, potassium, your water soluble nutrients, it carries those through the soil column. Whereas with wood chip compost, because it actually has a porous cell structure, it holds onto that better just like a sponge would. So it does not leach as fast. So you're gonna get a much more efficient compost, much more long lasting compost. It won't break down as fast. And also it's gonna be better to host light. So uh, I'm really, really excited about this. But I wanted to share with you some of the benefits of wood chip compost and uh, just what it can do for your garden because it's really great stuff. All right, so as you can see, a lot of this is on the top is still kind of wood chippy. But as you start to dig down, you start to see more and more of this beautiful compost that is here, that's actually here. Check this out, look at this, it's just absolutely beautiful. Look at that, just gorgeous. This stuff is so pretty. Look at that. I mean, you could not ask for darker soil than that. And this thing, and like I said, up on top, it's just a bunch of wood scraps. So uncover the wood scraps, and then below that is just beautiful, beautiful free compost. And that is how you know you have good soil. These are beautiful, beautiful earthworms. Signs of good health, good soil ecology, and definitely something you wanna see. If you're getting free compost, you wanna see that it's fully broken down. You don't, you don't ever wanna add stuff that's not completely broken down yet because it actually will steal nitrogen from the soil in a process called nitrogen sequestration. Worms are a presence that stuff has been broken down because they will actually do the breaking down process. So we're finding lots of these absolutely giant earthworms. Absolutely loving, loving what I'm seeing. One more really good presence I thought I'd mention is that when you're looking at the pile and you're uncovering it, make sure you don't see a whole lot of steam. If you see steam, that's the, comp that's the decomposition process actually happening. It's a good thing to see if you're composting, but if you're wanting to add finished compost to your soil, you don't wanna see a whole lot of steam. So the stuff that we have here is actually, it's, it's nice and cool, it's warm, but it's not like it's hot, it's not steaming. So uh, that means it's really well broken down and it's gonna be a great thing to add to our garden. Just another tip for you, if you're gleaning some free compost. All right guys, the last thing I wanted to show you is just a sign of good soil health. If you see, if you see those white, those white little strands all throughout the soil here, it's actually called hyphae. And hyphae is, here's some more. Hyphae is the actual, uh, it's the uh, roots of the fungus. Fungus, they spread throughout the soil you see some here, it's not white. Having that presence in the soil is really important because having a good fungally inoculated compost is key to having good soil health. It actually will create a symbiotic relationship with the plants and the plants will then get more nutrients, more water, increase their, uh, their uh, drought resistance or their drought tolerance, disease resistance. And so, um, yeah, finding those, that hyphae is very, very important to knowing that you have good quality compost. All right, so we just got home, just unhitched the trailer, and uh, I gotta say, that was a very, very fun experience. I have not ever had an opportunity quite like this to get this much compost. And so usually it's, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Someone's getting rid of some. Someone is just, you know, they have a pile left over that they can't all use. You know, we've gleaned from a lot of different places, a lot of different ways, but I've never quite gotten the quality of, you know, uh, of like wood chip compost in such a large quantity. I mean, that pile was huge, absolutely huge, and we barely even dented it. So uh, really, really happy with this compost. And so now, now's the fun part. Now we get to move it out and top off our beds with it. So I'm very, very excited about that. It's gonna be a very nice resource because last year we actually did not produce as much compost as I thought we would. And so this year, when it comes time to topping off the beds, um, we're really gonna be able to top them off completely, give them a really nice boost of nutrients and fertility. And it's gonna be a great asset to our, uh, to our garden this year. So I gotta get that done in the coming days, probably the next day or two, we're gonna start topping off our beds. And that way we can start planting because the, uh, the spring crops are gonna pretty much go into the ground uh, as soon as the, uh, pretty much as soon as the weather uh, warms up here, which is probably gonna be in the next three or four days. I saw the 10 day forecast and it's looking like we're pretty much gonna be able to plant in, uh, in the next couple days. So uh, gotta get out, gotta make things happen. 
and uh, man, it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.